Hey guys, Jay here and welcome to another cosplay tutorial. And today I'm making Natsu's horns from Fairy Tail. Now these technically aren't Natsu horns. They're, I'll get into that in a moment. And obviously that's not a Natsu wig. This is a blonde wig, not a pink wig. Well, this is actually for my friend Hardy who I've done commissions for in the past. And he has a Natsu cosplay and a wig. But since I don't have one, I use this blonde wig here because it was the easiest one for me to just foof up real quick and call it a day. Also, I personally don't have a pattern for the horns because I used somebody else's pattern. The pattern that I used to make these was for the live action Maleficent horns from the Maleficent movies and that was made by Odin Makes. So I'll link his video of that whole process of him making that and everything down in the description. And then in his description, he has where you can get the pattern for the horns. Now, the way I put it together is a little bit different. I didn't want them to look like just Maleficent's horns. Now, I probably mentioned this in the tutorial part itself, but when I cut the shapes out of the foam, I cut at an angle, so it was like, a 45 or 15 degree or whatever angle and so the blade pointed into the pattern and that made it so it had a angled cut on the edge and because of that it creates these peaks here and I did that for all four sides or all four peaks that way they had a little bit different of a look than Maleficent's because hers do spiral like this a little bit but I wanted them to not be rounded off and look exactly like hers so this kind of just differentiates them a little bit and then I cut lines into it every two inches, but that's just because that's what Natsu's horns look like. But now that I've talked about that, let's get into the actual tutorial. As I stated in the intro, the pattern for these horns is one I got from Odin's Maleficent video, which you can find in the description. I trace and cut out two of each pattern piece, flipping each one over for the second one. This is being done on four millimeter EVA craft foam. I cut all of the long edges that make up the length of the horn on an angle. I wanted to make these look not so much like Maleficent horns, so these angled edges will create a sharper angled edge where the pieces meet up, rather than that round look that hers have. Natsu's horns are actually rounded, but because they don't twist like these, I decided it was better to do this to keep them further away from just looking too much like Maleficent's. And for the small piece here, this connects to the long piece that has a rectangular cutout missing from it. The edges where these two pieces match up, I did not cut at an angle. To glue all the pieces together, I used contact cement, which you need to remember to let dry before sticking it together. The area where you put the glue will get mostly dry to the touch, but still be slightly tacky. This is when you put the pieces together. I also always use at least two coats because the foam soaks up the first coat a little too much. And when I put that smaller piece onto the larger piece, I'm very careful not to get them stuck on incorrectly. Gluing pieces like this is actually pretty difficult. If you place them down wrong, you really can't get them back apart without tearing the foam, in which case you would need to do these pieces all over again. With both horns put together, I need to add plugs to the open end. This is where you can attach them to whatever it is you want to use. I make the plugs by tracing the outer shape of the opening onto 10 millimeter foam. Then I make the shape again inside that outline, decreasing the size by about four millimeters all the way around. This way it fits inside the opening. You can make it like a cap if you really want to, that glues to the edges of the opening rather than a plug, which might actually be easier, but you don't have to. But this is just what I did. After I did the first plug, I just traced the shape from the cutout onto the foam to make the second one. After gluing the plugs in place, I need to cut the excess foam off, which is easy enough with a utility knife. If you plan to make your ends have caps rather than a plug, you'll need to do this first. I also dremel the edge down a bit just to make sure I remove all of the excess foam. Okay, now this part I should have done last, so just, yeah, do it last. But since I did it now, I'll just explain it. I'm attaching them to a headband. Just to be careful when putting it on your head, this one accidentally broke the headband putting it on my friend's head, but this is one from the dollar store, so maybe just get a metal one. Anyway, I used 2mm what the foam, but you can probably just use 4mm regular foam, or even plastic, or warbler or something if you have any. And then I glued pieces of it onto the plug, but with a little bump in them to leave room for the headband to fit into them. And here's how the headband attaches. You can angle them on however you want. Natsu's horns have a few lines cut into them, but it's actually pretty difficult to do it on this set because of how they twist. So what worked best for me was to make a mark every two inches, which I measured with a sewing measuring tape because it can flex. To mark how each line would go, 
I made the first line that's closest to the base. Start on the two inch mark on the outer curve of the horns, but then starting on the base of the inner curve. Here's a mock-up of a drawing type thing that I made of what I mean. Then every two inches, just go up the length of the horns. And here's the horns with all of the lines drawn on. I use an X-Acto knife with a new blade in it to score lines into the foam. This is where you cut into the foam, but not all the way through. This is actually a lot harder on 4mm foam because of how thin it is. It's very easy to cut all the way through on accident, so just be careful. Cutting the lines isn't enough though. I need to use the heat gun to open up the cuts to be able to see them. When doing this, I have it on low and only heat the foam for a few seconds at a time in any given spot. Any more and it could burn the foam. Now I can start painting. I start by masking off the headband with masking tape. This is actually better to have the headband on it now after you did all the cutting. That's why I said to do the headband later. If you do it after the cutting portion, it's a lot easier to cut the lines in. Anyway, all I did here was use a few coats of Plasti Dip Spray. I used black because it helps give me a darker yellow, which is what I want. I put the horns and headband on a wig and taped them in place so they stayed still and used a darker yellow color to cover the entire surface, including inside the cut lines. I don't want it to look like foam in there. After a few coats of that, I dry brushed the entire surface with a lighter yellow. This is where you wipe most of the paint off of the brush onto a paper towel, so it's an extremely light coat. I only brush it on going up and down the length of the horns. This way I get a texture that's vertical only, which when combined with the other yellow, has a distinct texture that kind of looks like the grain of bone that makes up a horn. I repeat the same thing with that same darker yellow, and repeat back and forth until I get something I like. The last things that I need to do are add a very, very small amount of white sparingly in the corners where the edges of the pieces meet to make highlights and then hit it with a matte clear coat to finish off the build. So that's how you make these horns. They're not specifically either Maleficent's or Natsu's, but whatever, they work for Natsu. So that's how you make this version of Natsu's horns. Again, the pattern isn't mine. If you want to get it, go down to the description and you can go to the video for Odin's channel where he makes Maleficent's horns and then he has the pattern in his description of that video. But anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. If you like it, go ahead and give it that thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys later.